students welcome back to a new mathematics program today we are going to talk about indices indices is the plural of the word index which means power to have an idea about what we are talking about let's have a look at the following number we read this as 4 raised to the power of 3 I repeat, we read this as 4 raised to the power, or we can use the word index of 3. Now, 4 raised to the power of 3, this 3 is called the power or index, and 4 is the base. So, 4 raised to the power or index of 3, 3 always represent the power or index and 4 represent the base. In fact, power or index is used for repeated multiplications. For instance, 4 raised to the power of 3 equal to 4 times 4 times 4. 4, which represents the base, is the number that needs to be multiplied repeatedly. 3, which represents the power or index, is the number of times the base needs to be multiplied. Have a look at the number 4 raised to the power of 3, which is equal to 4 times 4 times 4. Now, this 4 raised to the power of 3 is called the index form. On the right hand side, we have 4 times 4 times 4. This is called the expanded form. Similarly, 2 raised to the power of 5. The 2 raised to the power of 5 is the index form, whereas 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 again is the expanded form. Look at this example now. On the left hand side, we have the index form and on the right hand side we have the expanded form so 5 raised to the power of 3 is 5 times 5 times 5 2 raised to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 10 raised to the power of 5 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 9 raised to the power of 4 is 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. Now consider the following situation. 5 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 2. These two numbers, actually they are in index form. If I write 5 raised to the power of 4 in expanded form, I have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Now, this 5 raised to the power of 2 is 5 times 5. Here, we are performing multiplication. So, I write multiplication here. If I calculate this line, I will have 5 times 5, times 5, times 5, times 5, times 5. That is, we are multiplying 5 repeatedly 6 times. So in index form, it is 5 raised to the power of 6. However, instead of writing these numbers in expanded form, then perform the multiplication, we can directly calculate the answer as... 5 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 5 
raised to the power of 4 plus 2. That is, we have 5, number 5, 4 times on the left hand side, and number 5, 2 times on the right hand side. If we put them together, we have 5 raised to the power of 6. So, 5 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 2 equal to 5 raised to the power of 4 plus 2 equal to 5 raised to the power of 6. This operation is called the multiplication law of indices. If we generalize this number as the multiplication law, we have a raised to the power of x multiplied by a raised to the power of y. This is equal to a raised to the power of x plus y, where a, x, and y can be any number. But what is more important in this law is that the bases must always be the same. If we have different bases, then this multiplication law does not work. Remember, to be able to use this multiplication law of indices, we need to have the same bases. Now look at the following examples. 4 raised to the power of 6 multiplied by 4 raised to the power of 7 equal to 4 raised to the power of 6 plus 7 equal to 4 raised to the power of 13. 3 raised to the power of 2 times 3 raised to the power of 4 while adding 2 and 4 we have 3 raised to the power of 6. Again for this number where we have 5 raised to the power of 6 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 2 the answer is 5 raised to the power of 8 because we have added 6 and 2. Here also we have powers of 2 and 7 10 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 7. The answer is 10 raised to the power of 9. Now look at this number. Can you calculate the answer? Of course, 7 raised to the power of 6 plus 2 plus 3. So the answer is 7 raised to the power of 11. Now consider the following situation. 4 power 5 divide by 4 power 2. Of course, we can write the division like this. 4 raised to the power of 5 is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 again. We are dividing it by 4 times 4. While performing division, we have this 4 and this 4 which gets cancelled. We are left with 4 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 4 raised to the power of 3 in index 4. Okay, so 4 raised to the power of 5 divided by 4 raised to the power of 2, the answer is 4 raised to the power of 3. However, instead of writing the 4 power 5 in expanded form, then 4 power 2 in expanded form, then perform the division, we can directly obtain the answer as 4 raised to the power of 5 divided by 4 raised to the power of 2 equal to 4 raised to the power of 5 minus 2, which is, of course, 4 raised to the power of 3. So, 4 raised to the power of 5 divided by 4 raised to the power of 2 equal to 4 raised to the power of 5 minus 2, which is 4 power 3. This operation is called the division law of indices. The division law of indices is a raised to the power of x divided by a raised to the power of y equal to a raised to the power of x minus y. Here also, it is very important to have the same bases. And also, in the division law, a, x, and y can be any number. Let's have a look at the following examples. 4 raised to the power of 8 
divide by 4 raised to the power of 7 equal to 4 raised to the power of 8 minus 7, which is 1. 4 raised to the power of 1. 3 raised to the power of 8 divide by 3 raised to the power of 4 equal to 3 raised to the power of 8 minus 4, which is equal to 3 raised to the power of 4. Here we have the powers 7 and 2. The base is 5. So the answer will be 5 raised to the power of 7 minus 2, which is 5 raised to the power of 5. Here again, we have 10 as the bases. The powers are 9 and 7. Subtracting 7 from 9, we have 10 raised to the power of 2. Now let's look at this number. Can you calculate the answer? Yes, it is 7 raised to the power of 6 minus 3 equal to 7 raised to the power of 3. Now, consider another situation with a number in index form. 5 power 3 power 2. That is 5 raised to the power of 3 and this number again is raised to the power of 2. This means that we have 5 raised to the power of 3 which is multiplied twice with itself. In expanded form, 5 raised to the power of 3 is 5 times 5 times 5. Here, 5 times 5 times 5. We are performing multiplication, so we have the multiplication of 5 repeatedly 6 times. So the answer will be 5 raised to the power of 6. Again, instead of writing the number 5 in expanded form, then find the answer, we can directly obtain the answer as 5 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 equal to 5 raised to the power of 3 times 2, which is 5 raised to the power of 6. So, this 5 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 equal to 5 raised to the power of 3 times 2 equal to 5 to the power of 6. This operation is called the power law of indices. This power law states that if we have a raised to the power of x raised to the power of y, it is equal to a raised to the power of x times y. Again, the basis should be the same. That is, for the question and the answer, we have the same base. Look at the following examples. 4 raised to the power of 3 to the power of 5 is equal to 4 raised to the power of 3 times 5 equal to 4 raised to the power of 15. Here we have the powers as 3 and 2. While multiplying 3 and 2, we have 6. So 5 power 6. In the third example, 8 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2 equal to 8 raised to the power of 4 times 2 is 8 raised to the power of 8. 7 raised to the power of 5 raised to the power of 4 equal to 7 raised to the power of 20. That is, 5 times 4 is 20. Now calculate this one. Yes, you are right. 2 raised to the power of 5 times 3 equal to 2 raised to the power of 15. Now consider the following situation. 2 to the power of 3 divide by 2 to the power of 3. Of course, we can write division like this. In expanded form, we have 2 times 2 times 2 divide by 2 times 2 times 2. What happens here? The 2 get cancelled. We are left with 1. 2 raised to the power of 3 divide by 2 raised to the power of 3. The answer is 1. But I have just shown to you that we can use division law. 
If I use division law, I will have 2 raised to the power of 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3 equal to 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 3 equal to how much it is? 3 minus 3? Yes, 0. I have done the same calculation but in a different way. So if the question is the same, so the answer also must be the same. Hence we have 2 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. This number can be generalized as the meaning of a power 0. That is, any number raised to the power of 0 is always 1. Since a raised to the power of 0 is 1, now any multiplication or division by any number to the power of 0 is as if you are multiplying or dividing by 1. Remember that any number raised to the power of 0 is always 1. Look at the following examples. 2 raised to the power of 0 equal to 1. 5 raised to the power of 0 equal to 1. 8 raised to the power of 0 equal to 1. 100 raised to the power of 0 equal to 1. 20,000 raised to the power of 0 is, of course, 1. So, any number, it can be 1 million, 10 million, or any number to the power of 0 is always 1. Now, let's have some exercises for practice. Simplify the following. So, let's see what we have done today in this program. We have learned the meaning of index form. We have simplified indices using multiplication law, division law, and power law. We have also learned about the meaning of a power zero. So, the program for today ends here. Hope to see you in the next program. Till then, goodbye.